Alright guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to make the fidget spinner. This is a pretty good quality fidget spinner. I made it myself. So all you really need is one bearing, but with mine, I made it with three. And then, yeah, it just seems to work better with three. So it doesn't matter if they're like good quality bearings or anything. I got these out of really old skateboard wheels. So, yeah, they just look like that, and they turn into this. So, you want to get three, find out what one spins the best, which is this one in this group. And if all of them spin the same, just build it and then get some WD-40. That's what I did, and it spins really, really good. Yeah, so, you're going to need bearings some uh this is i don't know what it's called uh it's not aluminum foil it's metal tape or something so you're gonna need some of that some bearings and some scissors and you have to have a lot of patience not really a lot it just takes a while so to start just, as I said, find the best spinning one, this one, and put it in the middle. And then get another one and put it to the side like this. You can just move the other one out of the way. So it's on the side like that. Then you want to rip off or cut off. It's kind of easy to rip. I don't, I don't know why I said you need scissors. Cut off a good amount of tape about that much and then this kind of tape you have to peel it off of this so go ahead and peel it off I'll do that kind of takes a minute no but before you do that this is why I have totally blinked out so get your scissors and cut strips pretty good sized strips not like in half, but pretty good sized strips. That's pretty good size. So now you want to peel it off. And it's really easy once you cut it out. And then you want to get the two bearings, start with one, put the tape on pretty in the middle so there's just a little bit hanging off each side, and then lay it out like this, put the other bearing right next to it, and then just wrap the tape around it. Uh oh, it's stuck to the scissors. Ah oh, no, I got a wrinkle and it came off. This tape is pretty, pretty fragile, so be careful while you do it. So I'll wrap it around like this. It's going to look pretty messy, but it turns out good. Okay, so now that it's like this, you want to flatten out the top and then push in the edges. Just like that so it's all flat you can even put it on the table and just press down and it's like this okay and you don't want it to get in the middle of the bearing like that so if it does do that just take it out like this and then just fold it over check the other side do the same thing Pretty good. So now you just want to make sure it's good for you. And for me, I like it flat and down. Should be able to spin like that. Okay, now here comes the other bearing. This part is pretty difficult. So if 
find the bearing that you like. So in my case, it's this one right here. This one. And then set it kind of like that. And then put the other bearing right next to it. Like that. Then you want to get your thing of tape. Cut out another strip. Should have done this earlier. Cut out another strip. That's a little bit too big, but it'll work. No, actually, I'll just trim it down a little bit more. Sorry. Ah, oh, I ripped it. That'll be good. It doesn't matter if it's sloppy, as long as it's still tape. If it's dried out, you can't use it. Okay, that's a good size. Now, peel it off again. Oh, yeah, and you can buy this tape at, like, your hardware store, probably even Walmart. I don't know. I got this at Home Depot, I think. And if you want a really good uh, fidget spinner, either order one or get, like, roller, roller blade wheels and then just take out the bearings of those, like, get new roller blade wheels. Or skateboard wheels. Or even if you just have a skateboard that you never ride anymore. Just take out the wheels. That's what I did. Gosh, this doesn't want to unpeel. I'll try it with the other one. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. So, now that it's off, you kind of just do the same thing. Start with the one without any tape on it. And then, put it back to where it's supposed to be and then tape the rest of it this is going to be pretty messy with the first layer depending on how sturdy you want your fidget spinner to be that's how many layers you're going to put so on the one right there I put about three layers and it hasn't fallen apart before I, I experimented before and I tried it with hot glue didn't work that well okay so now that one's on see how it's just on in like a thin strip so it's pretty good now you want to unpeel even more tape and just keep uh, doing that so I'll be Okay, here is the final product. It's print, it spins pretty good, not as well as I wanted it to, but I will probably just put uh, WD-40. See how these edges are like kind of popping out? To solve that, just put it on the table and roll it like that. Just push it on the table, and it, it fixes a little bit. And so, as you can see on this one, I covered up the side bearings. So that's what I'll do on this one. And you can do whatever. Uh, my brother, he made one and he put little smiley face stickers. Which was pretty cool. Pretty cool detail. And so, yeah. That's how to make it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh... Let's try and go for three likes. Let's try and go for three likes. Uh, if you want to see more DIYs then or projects, then uh, just like this video. If we get up to 20 likes, since I'm a new YouTuber and I don't get that much, like 40,000. If we get up to 20 likes, I'll make uh, how to make kneaded erasers. So. Yeah. Thanks. Bye.